good. Happy Halloween. We'll take a moment to lift up through our arms and then take it over, side stretch. Inhale and exhale. So right now we're just moving uh, into lateral flexion to wake up the side body, to wake up the shoulders. And again, and we'll stay over here on the right hand side. Let your hand down and you can have rotation towards the floor and towards the sky. If you find a particularly good place, you can stay there a little longer. And then we're going to take that leg more behind us and, and make it the, the little deeper stretch. Take an inhale and on the exhale, come up. So just a little dynamic flow, go up and over. You can add rotation. Inhale and exhale. Now you can also take that leg behind and add a little bit more of that side stretch. Five, four, three, two, and then one. And then bring it back. Let those feet go a little bit wide and we're gonna bend right and left. Good, right and left. Inhale and exhale. And four, three, two, and then one. Now turn those toes out and let's open up. Now just take a small pulse here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale. And then on the exhale, come back up, bring those legs in. Calf raises for 10, lift up the heels and lower. Lift up the heels and lower. Good morning. Lift up the heels and lower and lift and lower and five and lower six seven eight nine and then ten hold it up there ten heels are off the mat nine eight seven six five four three two one, hands to the hips. I'm gonna to turn to the side. We're gonna take that leg up and down. So pitch your body forward and take one leg up and down to work the glutes. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Leave the leg up there and take 10 little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Come back down, other side, hands to your hips. It's a little harder when you're wearing five pound boots. I'm just gonna mention that right now. Okay, leg up and down, two, three, hips are square, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Stay up there with a little pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wonderful job. And then we'll take another leg exercise. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to go out with our arms, but back with our booty. Two, a chair squat. Three, and four. Good. Both knees tracking with the second toe. I like that hat while you're working out. That's <laughs> cute. Six. <laughs> See if we can make it the whole session with your costume costumes on. Eight. Nine. Now hold steady. Now both legs are working for now. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Stand up. You can do that again, or if you want to make it harder, take your right ankle to thigh and sit down with a one legged balance, one leg in the hip stretch, 10. The backup plan or modification is both feet, nine, eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, two, stand up, that foot comes down, and like you did, Jean, you can use your foot, your hand to help your foot get in place, then let go, good. All right, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, take an inhale. And on the exhale, come back up. Beautiful, side leg abduction, hands to the hips. Take your leg out and you can make it harder by not touching the floor, by keeping your foot off the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That foot comes down. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Abs are in. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Beautiful. Let's take a balance challenge. Hold on to that right foot and just stand tall. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. If you would like to add on, pull that foot behind you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come up, lower that foot, other side, hand to foot, stand up tall, 10, And then you can add your push. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Balance is harder with five pound boots on. Three, two, and inhale. Now on the exhale, come down to one. Grab your Donovans. We'll do a little bit for the arms before we go down. And I'm going to start with the arms overhead. I'll come in a little closer. Now, if you want to make this an additional leg work, you can sit in a squat the whole time. Press down. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, good. Seven, um, uh, Jean, that band is going ahead of your face, not behind. Yes. Yeah, so touch where your necklace would be, good. So it's not going behind you, yeah, because we're doing the weighted and I just want your shoulders to be extra safe. So we're working in the scapular plane, which is slightly ahead of the body. So the shoulder blades are more um, stable with uh, weight or tension. All right, bonus 10, nine, eight. Wrists are pretty straight here. They're not gonna be absolutely straight, but they're pretty neutral. And then let it go. Now, if you need to, to break with your legs, go ahead. You're gonna take the palms up. Let me show you palms underhand. Exhale, pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. All right. Take the band behind you. The other hand here. Inhale. Now on your exhale, press up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Other side. Hand, other hand here. Okay, here we go. Push up. One, two. Uh, shoulder soft. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You're doing great. Thirteen, jawline up. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 
18, 19, 20. Perfect. All right, take the band in front. If you wanna work your legs, get down in a second position, pull, pull. And if you wanna add on more, pull and good. Keep going, I'll demo, but the little lower uh, screen. So you can go down and down and down. Good, all right, six, five, Wrists are fairly neutral. Look at them if you're not sure. And then stay. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now step on your band. Right foot on. Now we're going to go forward and out. Forward and out. Three and three. Four and four. Five. Five, six, six, seven, seven, your neck is long, eight, eight, I love the deltoids, there you go, you look great, ten, ten, other hand, other band, other foot, basically switch sides, here we go, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Beautiful. Step on this with both feet in the middle. Equal tails. Pull up. Elbows are higher than your wrist. Exhale. Up. That looks great, five more. Knees are soft, make sure they're not backwards, yes. Put elbows a little higher, Jean. So you see how your elbows can be higher here? Not this, but that. There you go. Yes, elbows higher than your wrist at any given time. One more. Uh -huh. Let that go. Palms over hand. And hold your left elbow right about your side of your rib. Now let your right arm be bow and arrow. Exhale. Four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, wonderful job. Now we're gonna take this up and behind. It's more of a stretch, so make sure you have enough of a, um, a wide enough stance or with your hands that you can freely take your band behind you. Uh, that looks great, good, Pam. Go ahead, Cheryl. Nice, Ellen. Okay, hold a place, hold, so you're tall, Five, four, three, two, and then let that band come behind your shoulder blades. Palm up. Now we're gonna pretend like we're swimming. So go forward and around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Now you can go the other way, but lighten your grip a little. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, take your bands, go behind you, and stretch. 
five, four, three, two, and one. Let that go. We'll do one set of push-ups on the wall. So I'll uh, cue, you're gonna take, or you could do this on a, um, on a counter. You're gonna be further away if you want it harder. Bend your elbows and straighten. Shoulder blades are down the back. Inhale and exhale. Five, six, head in line with the shoulders. Seven, eight, nine, your body's like a plank. 10, good. 11, 12, 13, 14, good, Catherine, good. Pam, 15, 16, good, Betty. 17, good, Michelle. 18, good, Jan. 19, 20. All right, let's take a stretch before we head down to the floor. This is a really, probably one of my favorites for shoulders. All right, do you see if you put one arm in a tricep and one arm back here, if that's too hard, use your band and that way you can catch something between your hands and work on getting closer. None of this should hurt though. Five, four, three, two, exhale, other side. Okay, lift up. All right, sometimes this side's tighter. Good, Ellen. Breathe really big. That way you can open up those muscles more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale. Now on the exhale, this is uh, pretending that your arms are sleeves drying on the clothesline on a windy day. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do a second set of push-ups. If you prefer to do them on the wall, stay up. If you prefer to do them on the floor, come on down with me. And I'm gonna put my knees down on this one. So you have a push-up in your toes, your knees, or some of you might like the all fours position. On the wall is the other one. I'll demo the knees right now. One, two, three. Four, make sure your knees don't hurt. That's why we did the wall one first if you don't like to be on your knees. Good, seven, head pulls back a little bit. Eight, nine, 10. Now stretch, you could bend your um, elbows and put your hands behind your back. Five, four, three, two. One more set of push-ups. Hands down, I'll show knees again. One, here's toes. Two, three, four, five. You can always mix it up. Six, there's abs, good Pam. Seven, ear pulls back towards your shoulder. Eight, nine, 10. Child pose again. Walk your fingertips over to one side. Stretch through your arms. Five, four, Three, two, open up your arm like a little clam. Five, four, three, two, walk to the other side. Lat stretch. Five, four, three, two, open up your arm. Five, yep. Four, three, two, and one. Come back. Planks. So we're going to hold this for 20 seconds. You can be on your knees or your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Rest your pelvis. Place your hands on the floor and lift up. Eight, good, that looks great. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now on the one, we're gonna take a 15 second side plank, double up your mat if you'd like, 
Come up to modify your on your hip or your knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Lower your hip. Now let's go to the other side. You're going to put your elbow down. Take your feet stacked if you want that harder. Come up. 10 or 15, <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, this is going to be rear plank. If you need to do some other stretch because this doesn't serve your wrist, then do it. Maybe just a bound angle. Fingertips towards your tush. Legs long is harder. Lift up. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower your booty. Now, this is a teaser. If that doesn't serve you, do a, a little um, bound angle. Otherwise, lift up your feet and hold. This is bent knee teaser, arms let go. Hold, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, recover. Nice. Hands clap, touch your feet and lift up. Now your knees are wider, hold, just hold. Give a little bit of flexion in your back. Five, four, three, two, one. Optional, straighten out your legs. If that's not happening, do the bent knee one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Good. 3, 2, 1. Lower your feet. Nice. Feet on the floor. Make sure you have enough mat behind you. And we're going to row to the left. Come up. Row to the right. Come up. Inhale and exhale. One side. Then the other side, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, now let's take 20 seconds to go down. Inhale, one, go down an inch, two, go down an inch, three, Good. Four. Go down in half inch now. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, full body stretch, hands by your side, right leg up, take a circle, this is called leg circles, and keep your shoulder blades and your ribs down on the floor. If they won't stay down, grab a pillow and place your shoulder blades in your head on a banked up set of pillows like a wedge. Inhale, and Exhale, again, now eight the other way, eight, seven, six, five, neck is soft, four, three, two, one, now hug your leg and you can move that ankle point flex and then let that foot down. Let the leg le left leg up. Eight circles. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Go the other way. Eight and seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and hug. Now you can um, point and flex that foot too. Good. We'll take both feet on the ground, lift up and down, bridging. So this is one of those fundamental exercises that's so good. This is one you can probably do on your own if you've uh, been traveling in the car a while or you just need a break from uh, having been in a certain position for a while. Hamstrings, glutes, and then let's do two more and then stay high. When I say stay high, both hips are off the floor. It doesn't mean you're at your highest range of motion. So hold here, hips are even. Now your hamstrings and your glutes are working. Your low back has got some tone, but it's not tense. So I like that. Your neck has some space underneath it. We're gonna lift up the right leg towards the sky and take a little baby pulse towards the ceiling of a press. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lower the foot, realign the hips, other leg up, take a little baby pulse. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your foot, take your right ankle on top of your left thigh, like we did earlier. Drop your hip and lift it, drop your hips and lift it. One leg's off the floor. Yep, it's on your thigh. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Right foot down, left ankle on the right thigh. Drop and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Lower that foot, inhale, exhale, lower, lift up your legs, corkscrew, draw a circle on the ceiling with both legs glued together, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job. Now we're gonna take a side line. Actually, let's take one stretch. Reach your hands through the window and hold on to that leg. And if you wanna rock it, you can roll your ankles here too because they're off the floor. And if you feel like your shoulders come off the floor or your head comes off the floor in this stretch, grab a pillow or two underneath your shoulders and your hip. Five, four, three, two, inhale. Now on your exhale, other side, ankle to thigh, reach your hands through the window, hold on. And you can move side to side. Trying to move your ankles here too. Five, four, three, two, take an inhale. And on your exhale, come on over to the side. Now, this is going to be a propped up uh, elbow position. Your toes are ahead of you. We're going to take those, let me move back so you can see me. Tap your toe in front, tap your toe in back. One and one, big toe down. Two and two, three and three, four and four, five and five. Good, if you have just now joined, you can make it even, make it 10. Seven, seven, lifting up, eight. How high can you get in your ribs? Nine, nine, 10 and 10. Now lower your arm. You can grab a pillow underneath that arm too. Take that top leg out of the way. Tap your foot and lift it up over an imaginary cupcake. Two, three, over an imaginary jack o' lantern. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Now let's take this over to the other side. Elbow down. 
You're gonna take your elbow underneath your shoulder. You're gonna take your top toes, lift up, tap. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, and ten. Lie down on that arm. Take your top leg out of the way. Take your bottom leg up. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Keep your knee really long, Catherine. Eight, eight, your bottom knee. Nine, yep, nine. That'll make it safer. Really good. That was really good. All right, let's take it over to our belly. Forearms down. Take your plank. Now in the plank, if you'd like to add on, lift up your right leg and then lower it. Lift up your left leg and then lower it. And take that six more times. Five, four, keep the booty down. Three, just the leg lifts. Two, one. All right, now pause in Sphinx. This is your elbow down position. If you'd like to add on, put your hands down and make it a cobra. All right, or swan. In Pilates, it's swan, and in uh, yoga, it's cobra. Hold, eight, seven, six, four. Now, while you're here, drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Stretch the neck. Left ear to left shoulder. Chin to chest, right down the middle. All right, perfect. Now, we're going to go to a side plank. Your left hand can be on the, uh, your head, your right elbow is underneath your shoulder. Now hold this. Uh huh. Now lower your hip and lift it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, almost done. Nine, ten, forearms down. Switch sides. I'm going to turn so I can see you. Elbow down. Lift up your hip. Uh, hand on the head. One, two, good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Belly down. We're going to do some belly down swan work. Now, hover your torso and then let your hands assist you higher. Lower and then lift up your legs behind you. Good. Lift up your torso. Let your hands assist you. And exhale. Now lift up your legs. Lift up your torso. Let your hands assist you. And lower. Lift up your legs. Now lift up your torso and let your hands press you. And lower. And lift up your legs. Lift up your torso. And lower. Lift up your legs. Lift up your torso and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, oh, four, beautiful shoulder blades even lower. Three, two, relax for a moment. Interlace your fingers with the lower back. Lift up your back, lift up your legs and hold. Three, 10, five, four, and relax, switch your hands, do it again, lift up, 10, five, four, two, child pose, press your hips back. Good job. Now, if you wanna make the child pose with your knees wide, that's a really nice stretch. Five, good, belly breath, four, three, two, and then come up to hands and knees. Now, cat cow, round your back, lift your sternum, lift your tailbone, exhale, round your back, lift your sternum, lift your tailbone. Good, two more. Good, now you can also curl your toes under and lift your knees and make it the beast. Round, and round, and round. And exhale. 
One more. And child pose. Press your hips. Back. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands and knees. And remember, if you don't like being on your knees, double up the mat. If you still don't like being on your knees, do a plank off your knees. So right arm, left leg, all the toes off. Now open up your arms and legs like you're a snow angel. All the toes and shins are off the floor. Five, four, three, two. Now same arm, same leg, elbow to knee, round your back and extend. Five, try to keep the toes off the floor. Four, round your back. Three, move your head. Two, one. Now that hand and knee go down, other side. Stretch out, all the toes are off the floor. Make it a snow angel. Move your arm, move your leg. Three, four, five, six. Now you're gonna do round your elbow to your knee five times. Four, stretch out. Three, hit this level, not higher. Two, one, child pose. Press your hips back to your heels. Five, four, three, two, one. Side plank. Now this is gonna be elbow to knee. You can always modify with just a plank. Now elbow to top knee, come back. Elbow to top knee, come back. Elbow to top, good. Four, five, one more and six. Now let's switch to the other side. I'm just gonna flip my body so I can still see you. But take your elbow down, hand behind your head, elbow to knee, six, five, top knee, four, three, two, one. Perfect, belly down. Now in belly down, we're gonna do swimming. So take your arm, right arm and left leg off the mat, and then your left arm and your right leg off the mat. Right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg. To make it harder, all the limbs come off the floor. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Recover, child pose. Press your hips back to your heels. 5. Four, good, three, two, and one. Come up to hands and knees. Make the biggest circle you can with your hips to stretch out your back. Round, no, round the other way. Round, good, and perfect. And cat cow one more time, three, two and one perfect we're going to take a frog pose uh, for inner thighs let your knees go out and i'll make it more sideways now if your knees aren't comfy put the mat double up underneath your big toes can go towards each other um betty you're good but push your hips back two inches yep even more walk your arms even walk one more inch two more inches one more inch Better that way, yeah. So your humerus is supporting a little bit of your body weight. So you want the arm underneath you, but you can rest your torso. So I'll show you that one. You just go down. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, go on the exhale, go down to your belly. The posture we're doing next is the rocking or bow. So one chance is one opportunity is to take your hands together. The other is to hold on to your feet and lift up. 
five, four, two, and then lie on your uh, back. Good, take your hands into your shins. Lift up your shoulder blades if you're gonna make this a double leg stretch, abdominal. If you need to do a bridge instead, do that. Belly in, five, four. So I'm so glad you all take responsibility for your body. If something hurts, you find any other posture to do. Rest. Now this one is called single straight leg stretch. Lift up your right leg, hands behind your right leg. Lift up and exhale. Lift up and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And four, three, two, and one. Now rest. This one's called double leg lower. Again, just do a bridge or a hip opener if these don't serve you. Hands behind your back, lift up your shoulders, draw low, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, lift up your shoulders, nine, 10, rest. This next one's called crisscross, fingertips behind your head, rotate your shoulders to your knee, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, take six more, six, five, four, three, two, recover. Nice. The next one is single leg stretch and exhale, pull your shoulders up, pull your right knee in and then pull your left leg in. The torso stays stable, 10, nine. If this doesn't serve you, come up a little bit higher, Betty, in your upper back, yes then you want to um, do something else, anything else. Two and one, rest. All right, let's take the left leg long and take the right knee over. Your left hand can rest on your thigh. Roll your ankle, I'm oh, sorry, not your ankle, roll your arm. And then you can take it into a stretch that serves you. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, take an inhale, and then exhale. Let's take it to the other side. Right leg long. Arm, left arm can draw some circles. Open up. Five, four, three, two, and take another inhale. And on the exhale, lie back. Let your feet be on the floor. Curl up your spine. Now, if you'd like to add on, lift up your right leg. Drop your thigh up and down. Point your toes and flex your foot. Leave your hips the same level the whole time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now right foot down, lift your left leg up, drop down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10. Beautiful, that foot comes down. Hold. If you'd like, interlace your fingers underneath your shoulders and make that a little bit more of a shoulder stretch to boot. Hold. Eight. Six. Four. Two. Inhale and exhale, lower down. Now you can hug your legs in and move your knees in a circle. If you would like to add on, bicycle your legs and that's enough, right? Abs are working, head's working. Now, if you can go up to 30 degrees or go all the way up, up, hands by your side, three, two, all right, harder is arms crossed, five, four, three, two, one more, one, and then take a full body stretch, arms long. When you're in full body stretch, take your right leg and find a hamstring stretch. You can use a ring or a band and relax your neck. Ah, oh, that was great. You can use your hands. I didn't say that, but that was wonderful. Very good. You want to feel this in the belly of the muscle, never at the sit bone, not at the knee. Cross the midline just a little bit. Go out. More if you need. All right. Bring it back. Good. Other leg. Other core. Leg pours down. Hamstring. Gorgeous, shoulder blades dropping. I feel one leg's different than the other, huh? I like the pillow underneath your head there, but and pour the other leg down. So that's a passive hip opener here. Cross the midline a little bit. Notice that tension. And then exhale it out with your breath. Consciously relax your eyes, relax your jaw, relax your tongue. Separate the lips. And then go out to the side. And out one more. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to take a quad stretch. So one option is to lie on the side and take your hand to your foot and pull your pubic bone up and your ribs down. The other is to lie on your back and do quad this way. Good, see if that feels wonderful. Nine, 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two. Let that foot out. Take your other foot under. Rip down. Great.
Feel yourself relaxing. This can be done on the foam roller vertically as well with your head and your sacrum on the foam roller. Relax your eyes. Feel your jaw soften. Five, four, three, two, and then one. Go ahead. And then let that go. If you'd like to take a legs up on the wall posture, you can. And just take the arms out like a big T and let the blood flow. Let your eyes close. Let your breath go to your belly. You're diaphragmatically breathing to create a calm, healing environment. Safe and protected. Resting. Take a moment to slide back into your restful posture with your legs long, Shavasana, and just let your whole body relax to the floor. Let your exhales release tension. Let your inhales fill you up with appreciation and intention of self-care. Whenever you're ready, begin awakening your fingers and your toes and come up towards a seated position Palms can be on your heart and just take a moment to give yourself appreciation for all that you did to get here. To set an intention for the rest of your day and to continue more self care. And whenever you're ready, allow your eyes to open. And from Princess Zena, Warrior Princess to you, Happy Halloween. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Good, good. The quote from Princess Zena is, when someone gives you a compliment about something good you did, tell them that you do a lot of things good. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Bye.